Hey guys, we're here on this Throwback Thursday to do a Patreon request from this Patrono right here. The name of the band is Deathlike Silence. The name of the song is Six Feet Under the Ground. Well, I mean, that's kind of redundant, isn't it? I mean, yeah. Six Feet Under, what would it be? Under concrete? I mean, concrete is still the ground. Isn't it still the ground? Unless the, con the building is made out of concrete. Well, unless the building is levitating. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like there's a little this bit of redundancy here. Yeah, then... I don't know. I just feel like there's a little bit of uh, doubling down on the same thing. Yeah. Anyhow, uh, are you... Uh, by the way, I didn't check the band. I don't know anything oh, about this. Oh. So, it is what it is, We're I going guess. into this blind. Uh, yeah, like Stevie Wonder going into the mall. Or anywhere for the Or matter. anywhere. <laughs> him going into any, He's blind. The... Yeah, just even putting his shoes on. All right, anyhow. Okay. Uh, I, I, but, uh, by the way, uh, Shaq thinks he's not. Shaq thinks Stevie Wonder isn't blind. Yeah, because he used to live in the same building. Yeah. And one time, Stevie Wonder walked into the elevator, and Shaq was already there. And as Stevie Wonder pressed his floor, which, by the way, is kind of weird that he knew what floor to press. Well, because there's Braille on the... Yeah, that is true. But he didn't finger the whole thing. Well, he probably just... doesn't need to. After Maybe he's so just out of, like, through... repetition. Yeah. yeah, but when he pressed his floor, he said, uh, Hi, Shaq, or Big Diesel, or something like that. Maybe he sensed him. Maybe it's the cologne. Because, you know, when you lose one sense, the other ones yeah. become a little bit more acute. Maybe it's that. Maybe he sensed him, man. Maybe he had some... Uh, I mean, if you're in the presence aftershape. of Shaquille O'Neal, I feel like... There's an aura to it? There's an aura to it, yeah. There's not much of like... Like a seven-foot aura? <laughs> you can't really mistake him for anybody. Yeah, that is true. That is true. Maybe it's maybe it has something to do with that. All right, guys. Let's check out this video. Let's check out this song. You ready? Yeah. Let's do it. So far...
Wow, the song was way better than the video. I was going to say, dude, the video was trash. <laughs> Holy fuck. If I put this into, like, Premiere but or something like... throwback song. If I put this into something like editing software and you just look at all the little chops and you're like, oh my god, why are there so many chops? It's because in one sentence, the camera changed, like, five times for every single word. And it, I wasn't a big fan of the of the close-up, too. I, I felt too close. My personal space was a little bit... Was invaded? It was invaded. And if you're, if you're at, a, at, a, at a cemetery... Why are you standing at the door? Why, yeah? Why are you at the well, gate with a shovel? Let's just go in. They weren't allowed in. Yeah, yeah who's gonna stop you? And they have you? a hearse. The guy, the guy, the guy on grave one. You know what I mean? Like, what the fuck? I don't know, uh, man. I, know, I think man. if you if you're gonna go with the whole cemetery uh, hearse thing, you might as well just go all the way in. Oh, like, okay, stay- hold on. Sorry, when I saw the drummer, you know who I, I thought I'm like, oh, Jay from Jay and Silent Bob, right? That's what you thought. Yeah. I thought about Jack the Ripper but, on the guitars with the top hat. But I'm not gonna lie, I did. I forgot his name was Jay, and I'm like, oh, it's Silent Bob and Sleepy Joe. <laughs> Sleepy Joe. Oh, <laughs> dude! I thought Jay's name was. That's a com- <laughs> that's a completely different movie. No, that's a completely different movie. What Silent Bob and Sleepy Joe? Yeah, that's a completely different movie. <laughs> oh fuck! All right, was- I'm sorry. That made me laugh because I forgot. I was like trying to remember his name. I'm like, Jay, who's what Silent Bob? Is it Sleepy Joe? And then I realized, no, it's not Sleepy Joe. Okay. <laughs> Uh, it's also not Sloppy Joe's. It's not Sloppy Joe either. <laughs> it's not Sloppy Joe's either. All right, so uh, the, the video, the video, it, the video is what it is. It is what it is, yeah. Which and it, what, and is, what, it, what is, it is, it is not good. Trash. It's not good. But the, but song, the, song, is, so, the song itself is good. The song is good. The song is, I'm not going to say it's a Hail Mary, but what it is, is good. It's a good song. It has. Do that, you know what a Hail Mary is? Because you just used that expression completely out of context. No, Hail Mary. It, yeah, a Hail Mary like in football. Yeah, like you, a Hail well, yeah. Like you throw the ball hoping that you get a touchdown. I know, but usually the Hail Marys, they work, right? N- not always. That's why it's called uh, a Hail Mary. Mary. It's not it's called a short sure thing. Oh, you know whatever. Right? Fuck it. It's Who not cares? called play number one in the playbook. Who cares? <laughs> Hail Mary means like, you know, it's like one in a million. Let me throw a Hail Mary. You, know, you don't have to say that. A lot of our viewers are from, uh, Europe, are so from they're... Europe, so their football is completely different. They don't even know what the expression they means. They don't even know what it means. So, I mean, th- they could have taken it in the way that I was saying it, but you had to ruin it. A Hail Mary in, oh, in football, in European football terms, a Hail Mary would be like when you send everybody up front, including the goalkeeper. Yeah, that's <laughs> then, a Hail Mary. And, and you have a free kick and you just dump the ball in the box hoping that there's a deflection and a goal that ties the game or wins you okay, the game. Okay, so we just gave... That, that's Europeans kind of a Hail Mary. They're, 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 they're Hail Mary. They're Hail Mary. All right, okay. Because right. I just feel like you used it completely out okay, of context. Okay, Sleepy Joe. All right. Um, yeah, it, it, was a good, it was a good song. I, I enjoyed... I mean, I mean, the song itself was just... This it's a classic song and it's it, simple. It's simple. Two yeah. verses. No. I think the chorus five times. Like Listen, two it did not have to be. It, I think it it's almost five minutes. I don't think the song had to be. I think it could have been shorter because at the end I'm like God. I could probably name off every single lyric after this. And yeah, I think the, I think the chorus I think, maybe came in one too many times at the end. I just think no, the song should have been like a little bit short, like even just four minutes because it was like. Almost through. Yeah, almost yeah, yeah. Through. Just cut a minute because it's already catchy as it is. Yeah, and, that, so and you then you run the risk of going from catchy to being to like annoying. Annoying, yeah. So, yeah. you know, if it was one minute less, boom, it's 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 even. It's better, on the spot, right? But it's uh, your medium rare steak. It's a good song. I love the chorus. I, I, I mean, that's all. I, that to me, that's that. That's what sells you on the song. That is the, song. the facts. Yeah. It's not the verses that sell you on the song. I, the the verses were annoying because that's when the camera changed even more. To me, the core, the, the verses were annoying because I had her face like right in, in my space. Yeah, but that's when everything was like cutting. I noticed it was like. But the chorus is one, magnificent. One though. one line in the verse it had like five different camera changes, and one of them went to the live show. Then one of them was her looking away from the camera with the with the shovel, and then there was three of her face close up, but like in different positions, and you can tell it was chopped. I'm not gonna lie. I was trying to see if she had nose hairs. Really? Yeah, because that. I angle, mean, we were that close. Yeah, it was. It was so like, it mean, was like a, an upwards angle. Anyhow, the the chorus is phenomenal. I, the the chorus is really phenomenal. Phenomenal musically and vocally, because in, on the vocals you have the guys doing the backing vocals, and that adds so much volume to the song. And I feel like in the verses that it was kind of missing. The song in the verses vocally felt a little bit more flat. It didn't have the same power but maybe that's what differentiates the verses into the chorus the chorus becomes a little bit more bombastic musically and vocally i love the chorus i absolutely loved it i was always waiting for it to hit because 
It sounded good. Yeah. Uh, musically I mean, and vocally, it musically, felt this good. This entire song was it had a good feeling, and it also had a very classic feeling. Kind of reminded me of uh, Unto Others. Ah, oh, well, you're stepping into boundaries that you cannot <laughs> step into. Well, it was a Hail Mary. It was a Hail Mary. <laughs> Fuck. You threw it? It's like you're playing darts. I, I threw it, but, I, you know, it's a it's Hail like Mary. You're, you're, you're playing darts, and, you know, you're trying to trying to get that, you know, right in the middle there, and you miss the entire screen, and it hits like a family portrait. <laughs> You know, All right, it is what it is. I, I, I enjoy this. I enjoy this throwback Thursday night. I enjoyed it too. Request. Yeah, it was a, a good song. It, I, was, it, it was reminded it was me fun. of something, but I can't remember. Yeah, it was fun. It, it had it had good moments, but the chorus is definitely memorable. Which, I love that melody. I, I'm I'm happy it was good because sometimes these throwback Thursdays are a little bit of a hit and miss. Hit and miss. Yeah, and and by the way, there's going to be some changes to our channel coming up. We'll do a video announcing that. So uh, I don't think we're going to be doing as many Throwback Thursdays in the future as we're currently doing. But that's that's a discussion for a different video. For now, I want to thank you. I want to thank the person on Patreon that requested this video. I want to thank you for watching, and we'll see you guys at the next one. See ya.